This is an interesting area here, right here. But as we go up the stairs, a poster that I got when I was down south, and I think it's true for everybody. It just you know, I simply love what you do. My mother didn't do that, but she loved what she did. And on the table right here, and you'll see self-portrait. You'll see an art. We did a show at Weinberg Campus for people. And uh, for a couple of years, we did a big show up there. And that was that piece from Israel it was in that show. Self photo photograph of my mother, our county, Spain. My mother is a young person, it's photographed, of course. Three of my four daughters, the Big E Bank in Buffalo. My brother was in the advertising business, that was one of his accounts, the Big E. But interesting piece. This, I don't know if you can get it. Here's a little shot of it. But she cut the paper. It looks like a comb. She used maybe a wire brush. I don't know how she got the effect of cutting, actually cut the paper. When people come to see the show, to see the gallery, they all want to see the Biggie Bank, how the bank, what she did with that. Very, very different. Okay, so let's go upstairs. We're going to let you go first so that you can describe on the way up. I mentioned portraits before. I mentioned prints before. That's an original. This is a print. Two sizes of it. I don't even know who this woman is, but she's a beautiful woman. Look at her eyes. Her husband worked at Carborundum. Didn't know, I don't know her name, but it's a beautiful portrait. Original. Industry. I talked a little bit about it. These pieces of ceramic pieces were at the Wellesley dress shop. We had them use them in the windows. But this is the piece that I wanted to talk about. My mother painted furniture when she first came to Buffalo in the 20s, late 20s. And she painted furniture for the big ha uh, hangers for the big stores in Buffalo when she first came. Here's another self-portrait of oil of her. We talked about the ladies with the beautiful old fabric. She did these in paper mache. Okay, this piece is a very old piece, but it's a beautiful piece. And again, she painted that. So here we go back upstairs. This is something totally different. Watch, a miracle comes. In my parents' room. Look at the floor first. She painted the floors. The shades, she painted the shades for the different season. You probably straightened all this. Look how nice it looks here. I know, I did that last week. I know, look how nice. These are some of the pieces that were in Weinberg campus. We had about 200 pieces in Weinberg campus. They have new owners and they didn't want the art, so I brought it back here and I have most of it here. But I let people come up and look at the artwork and uh, if, they, if they want to purchase it, they can. But I just want them to see the variety of Polly King. Me back there too. I got in there in high school <laughs> <laughs> playing tennis. My oldest daughter skating and her. If you look on one wall, these mostly came out of sketchbooks on this wall. Here's your range again industry, fantasy, flowers. Still life. Funny when a guy, my mother had the guy come and paint it, the floors. He painted uh, white, uh, and then my mother came in. She painted all the things on it, and he said, "You're ruining my paint job." <laughs> you know, the painter he told her. 
But she went and did it anyway. But here you get an example of the kinds of places. Maybe, can you pick that up? That's Europe. How she can do this in a half hour, she'd do this. Don, do you want to talk a little bit about what these are? Sure. I told you she, I ran the Wellesley dress shop, and she did all the display areas. The windows in those days were very important with clothing on mannequins and the windows. We had the best windows in town. My mother's backgrounds mostly were these, you'll see them, I'm not going to undo one, but they're big flowers, places, and, but they hung in the windows behind the clothes. That's what these are. In the, in the course, when you came to the Wellesley, down in the basement of the Wellesley, we had an art gallery down there too, so people get art at the same time. But art, fashion is art, so. There's a piece up here we had at the YMCA for years, and I have it back here now. The Y left Niagara Falls, but you'll see. Just she could do that. Look at that, nice piece to the left of it is not hers. It's a piece of Frank Toole's sculpture. Frank Toole's sculpture is the person. He's the one who did the piece in front of the public library. Was a friend of mine. I commissioned that piece for the library. And he he was. A fine art teacher at the University of Buffalo. Mm -hmm. There's a, the, the range again, when you look at contemporary pieces, mm -hmm. fantasy pieces, mm -hmm. this whole room is a lot of excitement. Then we go into the middle room. I see faces in all of our art. The faces. Oh. That's as modern as she gets. Matt, do you want light on or light off? Uh, light. On? Yeah. This is our library now. The library. Polly's, Polly's library. I didn't put those pieces back in the I'm going to put okay. them back. Can we, can, just, we can do that. I'll put them back later. You'll see this break front here stores pieces to, done in the 30s and 40s. 1924, 1925, some of the books. Oh, okay. Okay. Behind you, of course, books, art books. Her painting stool. Her collection of art books is, was probably as good as anybody's. Mm -hmm. Big cabinet behind it is just more paintings. Each, each drawer is full of paintings. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'll just pull out the Niagara. Okay. Mm -hmm. These are all... Mm -hmm. These cabinets are wonderful. Paintings of Niagara. Mm. Ones that we still have to put away up here. Mohiani, just just give you an idea. This is one of the books here. My mother did sketch it right in between here. <laughs> These paintings are million dollars originals. Mohiani now. I'm always fascinated when she sketches on <laughs> or in in the art books. And you have additional Polly King over here. And you'll see sketches of the mother's sketchbooks. It's kind of neat. George O'Keefe. Art and letters. George O'Keefe did all kinds of things. I don't know, Sarah, if you ever saw this book, really. I've actually been to her ranch. Yeah. Mm hmm in New Mexico, yeah. and to her gallery in New Mexico. In George O'Keefe. Yep. Yeah. New Mexico. Yeah. I rode a horse through her ranch in New Mexico. Interesting. And stayed on the horse. Interesting. Ah. The Warsaw Ghetto. Um, 
for those that don't know me, didn't know me then, in 1958 I was the community ambassador of Poland. And of course I uh, went to the Warsaw Ghetto and uh, I've seen, of course, in uh, Washington, they have a wonderful museum. This is a nice book, a nice book, nothing to me. My mother wouldn't step foot in Germany. Mm -hmm. She didn't, just wouldn't go there. But south of these, I think is the best place where people, young students or anybody, can read about artists, can find out who the artists were and what they did, and Gauguin, all of them. This is one, flowers. News. My mother did a lot of news, but she took courses in anatomy. Just it didn't come. She studied it. This is a nice book. You'll see some of my mother's things that are like this. They're a lot of eyes looking at you all the time. Here it is, another thing. Kind of nice. But masterpieces. These. How about this? From an aunt who is to Pauline, that was my mother then, 1911. Bought this book for her. <clears throat> anyway, this was this is the library. People can really come here and look anytime they want. Industry, right here. Best example of industry. Wires. Maybe that's what they were looking for when they thought she was a spy painting the flowers <laughs> and the wires and things. All kinds of, just one after another. Saragusa, it's not Syracuse, New York. It's Syracuse in Spain. Okay, that's here. Any people need any history of some of the art, sometime they're free to come to, be fun, to come to the gallery. And we haven't even talked about it with Sarah. And uh, we probably should have a little museum of art, really, in some places that they have. We go from here in the back room. It was my bedroom when I grew up. This is a nice. old homes. We just had the bathroom done over. And you can see it, it's kind of neat. It's all done in purple. Kind of neat. This was a bedroom when I grew up. My brother, myself. Most of these paintings speak for themselves. There's such a range, again, art there are flowers, old paintings, very old paintings and drawers, and some of the cabinets. And her sculpture. And her sculpture, there's more of the ladies that she did in fabric. Fabrics are very, very old fabrics. And the pieces of sculpture on the wall of the Frank Tool, when I taught you about, they did, did the piece in front of the library, did these pieces right on top, of the ones on the cabinet there. Mm -hmm. He worked in wood and he worked in a... We have another self-portrait. <laughs> Sarah's holding a, a piece of the downstairs, the back door entrance from the kitchen to the back. And you see my mother put herself in this painting with the, right there on top there. She put herself in this painting. Again, not afraid of color. You just don't see too many people that can handle color and arrange color the way she did. These big paintings, and, and of course, we want to invite the people in our area, anybody, if they want to, to be in touch with us and come and see for themselves. But I wouldn't be surprised someday if we, there's a Polly King Museum where people will be able to see mm -hmm. the majority of the paintings that are here. 
I know I come here periodically because I, I don't sometimes I don't remember exactly where I saw the painting and what but I Paris Paris. You go into the back last room. Mm. Should point out that we have another self portrait. One of my very favorites. It is one of my very favorites, this one. Yeah, of Polly. There's a lot of portraits here. Mm -hmm. They did that. Which one? No, they did that. that yes. They're all the inventory of the art yeah. right there. Um, yes, and Paul Hanover, I bought very old. Had one, of, one of his pieces. He was a very talented young artist. I, I, I liked him. He liked, my mother liked his work. That, that's a print, too. There's nothing wrong with prints. I mean, uh, people can afford them and they can frame them well and can enjoy them. People shouldn't be afraid because it's a print. That's, a, again, a portrait of my mother, self portrait. Mm -hmm. All kinds of stuff. Wonderful. Was your paint box? Portrait, self portrait. Another self portrait. We have more. <laughs> huh? I know who that is. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Yeah. I was very involved in Rotary um, Youth Exchange. I was, we had always had a youth exchange during the living with the kids here. My mother always used to paint them, of course. Anyway. Don, can you pull out the Native American one behind you? That's, that's a couple. Okay. Nope, one more. One more row. OK. Keep going, the next row over. I, I see it here. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Beautiful piece. Mm -hmm. Chief Pale Moon, Mohawk. Is this Polly painting up here? Teaching painting. Mm -hmm. She had Saturday mornings on the Silverberg building on Main Street, on the third floor of that building. She had lessons for kids. Is this your dad? I don't think so. No. That was a, she had classes on Saturday mornings. But again, <laughs> you, if Andy Warhol did this and put his name on it, it'd be worth a half a million dollars. Mm. Yeah. So the, the people can get that Polly King. Half a million dollars, a little bit less. You know, I wonder where this piece was. I didn't, I used to like to show it because it shows the color so well. I'm gonna put this out front, I like it, I like it so much. You want me to carry it? Oh, yeah. I like the cape <laughs> okay. that they're wearing. Yeah. Here, should we take it downstairs? Either that or in the front room. Okay. Ready, Matt? A cape. It's just what I need. Yeah. You'll have that piece too. Mm-hmm. We'll take it to the front room. She really was not afraid of color. That's a house on you. Youngstown on the River Road, outside of Youngstown. It's still here. 
Look at that piece. Can you get that piece? Hmm. There's there's a lot of stories in this piece. Everything. It's really a nice piece. Mm -hmm. That's exceptional. But I like it over here better. With the light. Yeah. Mm. That's kind of nice. What do you think of that? Exceptional. I feel empowered just seeing it because that's how I stand with my arms crossed. And I like to wear a cape, even if it's invisible. And she has gladiolas, a musical instrument. She's wearing pink, red, and purple. <laughs> 